Katie, that's Sean. Bridgeton, episode eight. What happened in the last episode of Bridgeton? Um, what did happen in the last episode of Bridgeton? Uh, you weren't, if I remember correctly, you weren't particularly fond of the yeah, episode. I wasn't all that fond of it, but it doesn't matter. I guess that the Lady Whistledown was the Mud East, and then it seemed to imply at the end that it was her. But it's probably gonna. Do a complete swerve here and make it out to be someone else. Um, what else happened? They had another argument. Daphne had a bit of a go at her mother for not preparing her for married life better. Um, we saw the ramifications of uh, Mar- Marina Thompson. How. Yeah. The secret about her being pregnant came out and it affected Colin. Yeah. They had a moment where they kind of, you know. Yeah. And then uh, Marina tried to, I think she tried to kill herself. Yeah. And she was found on the floor in her room. Yeah. That was it. Uh, so, yeah, this is episode eight. The end of season one. Uh, let's just see what we can get. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, that's depressing. As for which of these fates await no. the eager matches ah, of the season of eight. They look like a truly happy family. Only two things will tell. Time. So that you both can look as happy as you surely must be. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, can you imagine? I can't imagine anything worse. Imagine having to sit there for like two hours pulling the same face. Well, it'll just be getting a sketch, surely, wouldn't he? And then he would just be, you know, pitting it afterwards. My word. A picture of devotion. These two just need to actually sort themselves out. Just sit down and talk to each other. Sitting down, I'm sick of everyone just not sitting down and talking to each other. It's not the case for like literally every like show and movie ever. There's, the characters don't talk Jeremy until the very last minute. Huh? Jeremy Can Cash. Where she meet her? Well, you were right about Colin. Oh well, fair play. Fair play, well. With a good heart. You were very good to him. I am certain one day he will see it. Oh, I hope so. No. Marina Thompson's not a horrible person. Despite everything, she's not. I'm expecting any callers today. She's made a horrible decision. I beg your pardon, but did you say Crane? Would that be a Sir George Crane? Ah, knew it. And I was wrong. No, fair play. She admitted that she was wrong. I was definitely going to say that. To be fair, she. I mean, it was the Lady Featherington did write a fake letter and did, you know. Yeah. It wasn't entirely her fault. You should come back another day when Zip. It's. It's not her, is it? I'm not always so sure. Hmm? It's not her. I know why you're here, that? Miss Eloise. Because it's me. Certainly is. Charming chatting with you, Madame Delacroix. It's making it like seem really obvious that it's her. Lock the door. But it's it's not really her, is it? I mean, you had an interesting theory though. What, the it does. It does make it seem like why it just makes sense why it would be her. Isn't it? When you think about is it, more than one person. More than one person. Is it her and the opera singer? The opera singer would be a clever one because it's making it seem like she's a sort of high high society lass. And that's what she was saying to Anthony, is that she'll never be that high. What's going to happen here as well, yeah. Is he going to compromise his honour and take a dive? But Jim promised them loads of money, didn't he? He looks like he's got eyeliner on. 
He has got eyeliner on. Why has he got eyeliner on? Uh, you know. Comes up off pretty duck for the fight. Was that something that... Figured it'd be an hour ago. Oh, is Simon gonna know that he took a dive? Is he gonna take a dive? All credit at the Modis, it is allow me to realize my late brother's wishes. Oh, bless him. That's nice of him. I thank you for your offer, Sir Philip, but I believe you should now take your leave. Ouch. Very well. I wish you all the oh. best, Miss Thompson. They're pruning. Hmm? They're trying to give him the old uh, I'm right here rise. Yeah, look. Oh dear. I'm not be happy about uh, going through his uh, his mail. His mail. Mail, is it? It's dad's mail. God, he's just gonna keep staring at each other. Oh, no, oh, she looks away. And she looks right back. Well, I'm not surprised. I don't know. Simon knows that it was there. Uh, he took a dive. Overcome this. I don't think it's going to happen to Lady Danbury, is it? I merely showed him what he was capable what of. What do you mean? Like she's not going to get hurt, right? He's not going to die before the end of the first. Push from time to time. That was something I was happy to provide. But I like Lady Danbury. The end. Oh no, he's going to be angry. Was the money worth your honour? I would be saying. Oh God! We're after the body straight away in the morning. The young lady shall have new dresses after all. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ben Miller. So he's got the money. Now he just needs to use it right. Yeah, Let's stop gambling. Wonder at all. Before you trouble him. You are welcome to visit at any time. Oh, that's nice. Show me what you've been learning is this time, is this picture of family going to change his mind? Good for you, brother. You oh, he's supportive. <laughs> See, <laughs> Benedict's face was like, oh, but Eloise was like, Ugh. well, he understands, doesn't he? He's in the same kind of candies. See, they're probably licorice. Candies. Oh, it is, it is, isn't it? It's going to change his whole outlook on family. The cat and the toast? The devil does that mean? Well, they're not exactly happy, you know, like... Oh, see, he's nice. Say it is, isn't it? It's going to change his whole outlook on family. Bless him. Oh, God, those were rather large slices of bread. But they're not pre-sliced, you know. <gasps> Oh, she never lost the baby. Miss Thompson? What is it? And she sent Philip away. I believe I need a doctor. Oh, bless him. Society won't let him be happy. I shall come with me. Is this going to be like, this is the first time that, uh, this is where they're going to figure out who Whistledown is. Who's this is like Endgame, isn't it? For Bridget. It's like Bridget and Endgame. Bridgetons assemble. And they're going to figure out who. Uh... But all of them. A good likeness. That's not quite how they would have done it back in those days. 
He'd have put his arm out like that and she would have put it just on his arm. They wouldn't have linked arms, so it's a bit historically inaccurate, but you know. Because you know of how people link their arms. Mm -hmm. Yep. They would. They would have run like that and she would have just put it. Because he's leading her. Oh my god, I'm struggling. Why is she in yellow again? She's always in yellow, Sean. Why? That's the colour her mother picks for her. Why? Despite the fact she likes pink. Lady oh, Father God. What, a pleasant surprise. what are these? Are these, um... Local gangsters? Roustabouts and whatnot. Ruffians and... Ruffians, yeah. yeah. Oh, is Colin going to go to Penelope? Oh. And then Anthony's going to arrive with the opera singer on his arm, isn't he? Penelope might be like the genuinely only... I have something I wish to tell you as well. Oh, no! Oh, no! I'm leaving. First thing tomorrow night. I begin my tour. Um, all oh, for tonight, no. Colin. Good luck on your tour. Oh, oh she's such just like a little sweetheart, isn't she? Yeah, just like she's, give her a cool she's the only nice, like fully nice character. She's here. Now is my chance to find out her plans for Whistledown. She's not going to be there. She's not there. She's not there. Where else would you be, though? Delivering the... Oh! <gasps> My lord. Oh, no! You're right. Oh, never. I'm sorry, Sienna. He's actually been the hardest done by this sorry, season. Sorry. He's tried his hardest in every, in every way, and every time he seems like he's getting it wrong. Bless him. He's a strange character, isn't he? Like, wasn't so much asking that to change that he, he was wanting to help her. Lady Whistledown. Even when she's in a rush, he still opens the door. Well, that's a, it's a dedicated servant. True. She would be correct. The first we bow. It's like they don't even know what high class to. Oh no, no! It's like they don't even know what high class is. Come on, Sean. Their husband and wife. Well, this isn't a waltz. This is more like a quick step. Quick step, yeah. We're strictly come dancing and watches everyone. We know what a quick step is. Yeah, we watch Strictly Come Dancing. We know. I'm a man's man. <laughs> I watch Strictly Come Dancing. Oh, well, yeah. What's oh, that guy? Everyone. I believe this evening is complete. We shall thank our gracious host for such a splendid soiree in the morning. Now go. Out. At once. Oh, they were gonna go out and enjoy the rain, bless them. Exactly. Yeah, but they need to do the thing that they haven't done yet this I am season. So sorry. What talk? For what? He made you believe that you needed to be without fault in order to be loved, but he was wrong. Should you need any proof of the matter, then then look just here. Oh, I am tired of pretending. You may think you are too damaged and too broken to ever allow yourself to be happy, but you can choose differently, Simon. You can choose to love me as much as I love you. It's been but a lot of long speeches. Fair play to her. She just needed to get out, didn't she? Yeah. Tell me exactly what she was feeling. So the last name's Hastings. If they have a child, what would they name it? It's got to begin with an A, obviously. 
an ear. Yeah. Arnold. He has such a warm countenance, does he not? And his Arnold Hastings. You're saying he is dead. <gasps> they killed Ben Miller. <laughs> no Millers. <laughs> So what happens when you put bad karma out into the world? Or so the superstitious hocus pocus people would believe. If you do this, if we do this, then, then nothing else will matter. Oh, fancy that. They actually spoke and resolved stuff. God, well, at least it's actually in a bedroom this time. And not, you know, just in some farmer's field. <laughs> right, so they are going to have children. Did you not hear the conversation they just had? Yeah, but I didn't think that meant... I didn't think they were talking about children then. I thought they were just talking about... He said he's going to be the man that, she need, that he needs... Yeah, instead he of just splitting up. Be a grander finish to a season than the... So again, she was thinking about a family. Fair enough, she would was horrible and went about in the wrong way. She still thought about the family. Where's she going? She's going home. Oh no, she's going with... She's still pregnant, isn't she? Of course, she? there are other endings that will offer new beginnings. I would fancy anything blue. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Straightforward. To the point. A gift, blue and white. Mm. We went to a party together. Knew it. You were with Madame Delacroix last night. Yes. No, please do not tell our sister that I left in the middle of the ball either. <laughs> what is it? So then, who is it? If you were with Madame Delacroix last night, then she is not. Then yours truly. I said it was her. Lady Whistledown. I said it was her on like episode three. Yeah, but then you didn't go back to it. Or is this supposed to be like the difference between his birth and theirs? Is he gonna stay with her? Oh, come on, just get it out of here. Push, push. That was a joke, <laughs> everyone. Stay with her. It's not gonna be something ridiculous like twins, is it? Twins, imagine. Congratulations, your graces. A boy. <laughs> oh, they have an heir. We shall call him Arnold. Arnold Hastings. I believe it must begin with the letter A. Ah, knew it. Knew it. So it can't be Anthony. Um. Andrew. Um, Arnold. Arnold. It's not going to be something stupid, is it? Like what? Like Hyacinth. The name. You'll find out next season. <laughs> right. Ah, oh, Bridget in season one. Penelope is whistle down. I bloody knew it as well, you know. I, say, ugh, I know I'm it saying makes, that now, but. It's one of those things where you look back and you just think, oh. Mm. oh. But I said in like episode three or something, I was like, it might be her, you know, and then I was like, because I was too busy. You had of, all these wild theories, didn't you? Yeah. Too busy paying too much attention to us. When you think about, though, like, for me kind of the one because I kind of I was kind of like yours like well I had a list I was there okay Eloise Penelope you know like uh, Madame Delacroix and a bunch of others the thing that really like made me think okay it's absolutely Penelope was when um, the news about Miss Thompson came out because they, they said themselves didn't they so it, was, it felt like very personal mm. and it's like obviously it stopped her marriage to Colin didn't it who was who she's in love with 
Mm, yeah. So for me, I was kind of like, oh, that would imagine if Penelope did that to her own family. Mm. Think about all the things that she said about the Bridgertons and about her own family. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, that was us reacting to the finale of Bridgerton season one. Um, we will, we might watch season two. We might do another show. Like, we watch, might watch a season of another show and then do season two. But, you know, I suppose we'll just. We'll find out. Um, Let's know what episode you figured out who Bridget, uh, who Whistledown was. Don't lie. Don't lie. Um, like the video, subscribe, ding the bell to be notified when we upload. We upload every day. Anything else you want to say? Mm. It did a really good job of not letting, like, making it obvious who Lady Whistledown yeah, was. Yeah, but I, kn I knew. You, can you kind of, you had moments where you thought of different people, but. Yeah, but I knew that it was going to be not her. Yeah, because that was the obvious one, wasn't it? At that yeah. Point. So I was like, well, it's obviously not going to be her, is it? Um, yeah, it was alright. Wasn't it as terrible as you thought it was going to be? No, no, not terrible. But it still does my not in when characters don't just talk. Yeah. I don't like that. We have to think about that. Realistically, these characters have known each other like at most months, a few months. Yeah. And then they're expected to get married to each other, and it's like. Yeah, it's a lot different now, isn't it? You would just sit down and talk. They don't really know each other enough, do they? No, they do not. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. I need to know.